Okay, I think um, it is just a a system of um, it's it's a writing method that that requires some. I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. Do you recall what you learned? <laughs> Yeah. When, uh, must be a few years before. Uh, must be some years already uh, passed uh, since you learned the uh, copyright. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Copyright is about economic right. Meaning, if I have my work, you must. You are not allowed to use it, to to copy it, to distribute, to publish, to reproduce. You know, to uh, share to others without my my permission or my authority. Yeah. That is copyright. So if I put my rent uh, in the public domain, which I know that people will be time again and 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 you know uh, 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 over and over and over using it without having to go back to me. For example, I put it on my blog, or I publish my uh, video, my song, my movie on YouTube, and everyone can watch YouTube. So that basically is an act of or gesture of consent, isn't it? You learn about consent, voluntary non-fit injuria. Huh. You are actually consenting that people can can use it. Okay, so I am waiving my copyright in the sense that they don't have to get back to me in order to use it because it is already freely available. Yeah. However, the there is still some right that I will preserve. What is that? Uh, this is what, what, what is called as a moral right. And the moral right, among others, among others, is the right to be acknowledged as the author. Uh, the right to be acknowledged as the author. That does not change. Uh, that's why if you use my, my work without, without crediting it to me, without naming me as the author of that work then you will get a problem yeah so my commercial right is waived but the moral right remain uh, that is what's happening in most cases for works which are published online yeah all what you need to do is put a credit that this work is written by mr x that this book, work is authored by Dr. Sony Zuhuda. That this uh, work is cited from this publication because the publisher also have some right. Yeah, from which publisher? So you mentioned all those because those moral rights will never be waived. Okay. So that is basically the current situation, and you will be actually surprised that many artists singers lyricists yeah art workers yeah who choose to go for this free channels free platform uh, in order to publish their work they don't mind about people watching it or reading it or accessing it without paying you they don't mind without paying these people they don't mind why because there is this kind of you know this satisfaction is there the more your work is being accessed and used by people the happy you are and now talking about money yeah, the internet actually allows these people to gain money by different way isn't it for example on youtube with all the very, you know, so many free songs, free, uh, free performance uh, available in the internet. How do you think they make money? How is that? Any idea? Thousand views. Thousand views, sir. With views, so yeah. what? Advertisement. Advertisement, sir. Exactly. So this is all the mechanism. You get more views then it will attract the advertisers the advertisers will come will pay youtube 
YouTube will pay you. The same mechanism works in other platforms as well. On Facebook, on Instagram, on many others. So, so putting my work, I don't mind. Like if I want to put my work on my blog, then of course I'm not looking for money. Yeah by people accessing my work. Otherwise, I would be just publishing it in a book or what else, whatsoever. But what I what I can hope if I this is if I want to monetize, if I want to get the money, if ever, <laughs> which is not in my case. Huh? Um, what you can do is you can make, you know, uh, some uh, ads like AdSense uh, platform, AdSense mechanism. What is AdSense? It is actually a similar way, a similar way, uh, a similar uh, method, which is applicable in on YouTube, also applicable on my blog. So I can make, I can actually uh, sign on, yeah, uh, to make the viewers, yeah, on my blog counted for the purpose of generating money, because WordPress will also upload some advertisers. Uh, that is monetizing your blog which i don't do i never did and throughout my uh, use of my uh, um, blogging throughout my blogging history i never did i never tried well for now i don't think i will do it i just want people to freely read my papers my slides my notes inshallah riskin minallah min haytu layatasib from different ways Shalom, bro. Yeah, uh, and and that is, but I don't blame for people who who want to do that. I mean, they have their own reason to do that. Yeah. So what I'm saying, uh, my students, uh, we are talking about the rule of copyright. People have been saying copyright is dead in the internet. I I don't really agree with that because copyright remains as a right. Yeah. Uh. And the rule doesn't change. However, the way we look at copyright, I think, must change. Yeah, the way we consider this copyright must change. Gone are the days where you will be so restrictive and and will be you know very preserve you know very protective yeah, to your own work. And not allowing people to simply copy it without um, sharing the benefit to you monetarily. That was time, you know, without or before the internet, at least. Or when the internet was not so common or so easy as it is now. Because if we are to use the same perspective, the same. Uh, uh, attitude today, maybe you will end up frustrated. Yeah, you really need to put some investment in order to do that. To ensure, of course, some people did that. They put some, you know, uh, uh, they put uh, some uh, mechanism, yeah, not to allow easy sharing. For example, on on. Uh, CDs, VCDs, but that was those days when people still produce CDs, DVDs, and CD and DVDs. Yeah, but now no more. You see, all the musicians they dump their uh, their music uh, online. So you see, the business model changes. The business model changes, but the copyright doesn't change. Only that we know that copyright. Will have to be. Will have to adjust in order to live in the cyberspace. So there is this uh, very creative initiative, yeah, by Professor Lawrence Lessig. This is not the first time you you heard it from me. The name, Professor Lawrence Lessig. Uh, just one second.
The book is called Remix, R-E-M-I-X. So Lawrence Lysik has a very creative idea. Have you ever heard about CC? Creative Commons. CC. Okay, I will show you the... Let me see, Creative Commons. Oh, wait, wait, Creative Commons, Creative Commons. There you go. Are you looking at my my screen? Yes, bro. Yes, bro. OK, good. Yes, bro. So Professor Lawrence Resig initiated this movement called Creative Commons. With this Creative Commons, you see the logo is this, CC, rather than only one C, they have two CC, two Cs. Yeah. Two Cs, Creative Commons. So by this is actually a licensing scheme. This is a kind of agreement, which, <clears throat> which uh, with this agreement, you are actually telling the world. Let's say I, I have my, my own uh, work, book, you know, copyright is all about this literary work, music work, lyric works. Yeah, you go, uh, I, I don't discuss this uh, in the beginning, but this is a fine method of copyright work. I have a novel or I have a story to, to, to show. So this story, then I put a logo, a, a symbol of CC, just like when you see the symbol of copyright in every work, yeah, in on, on movie and in the broadcast. Uh, on uh, written work and so on, you see the words, uh, the symbol C, copyright. But instead, now I will put CC. So what does it mean when I put CC? So CC represents some some um, uh, set of uh, licensing, which is in general less restrictive than the copyright. Yeah, because according to copyright law, this is copyright is under the law. CC is under contract. Okay, copyright law means if it is my my law uh, my work in Malaysia, so meaning if I put it is my copyright, so nobody else should be able to to use it, to uh, share it, to distribute it, to reproduce it, to you know sell it to others, to exhibit to others without my permission. That is a copyright regime copyright law regime and it is almost all in all countries all in, uh, in the world are the same because um, most of these countries they belong to one treaty yeah? uh, uh, it is called uh, uh, burn treaty no uh, no I, I, I forget this this one international treaty on on copyright that's why a uh, law of copyright is quite same from one place to another so if I see a work which is with the symbol of CC, then I know that I cannot simply, you know, use it, exhibit it, or share it to others without getting the, without getting the uh, permission. But if I see that work with CC rather than only one C, but with two CCs, then I know that under that CC licensing scheme, the author will allow me to distribute, yeah or to use it for some purpose and so on and so forth, which is less and less restrictive than the, the copyright regime. Uh, that is basically the, the idea. So this, uh, these uh, people, they, they create this initiative and they invite anyone in the world to join the CC initiative, to join the CC uh, community. And it is already a very huge community, including UIA. Yeah, including UIA in many in many parts, they also use it. the one that we put on IREP. If you are if you are familiar with IREP, uh, all our, our lecturers' uh, work is listed in IREP. I R E P, IREP dot I U N. I will show you this. Have you been looking to this? Yes. Okay, good. You want to know, for example. All my work, you can go to this IREP. Yeah, so this is it. Uh, let's say you want to browse, browse by authors. You want to check my name. I, I'm doing self-promoting here. 
Uh, Z, you go to Z, Zulhuda. Zulhuda. Go to the second name yeah, or surname. Okay, it's here. Why is it so hard? Zul, 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 Zul. Huda here. Okay, I got 151. 151 entries, yeah? So you click. So you have everything here. You will see everything under the topic article. This is the latest one. I wrote with my student, PhD student. Actually, he is the one who wrote, then I contribute. That's why he is the first uh, author, yeah? So all article, book, book chapter, and then conference or workshop items, and then monograph. Okay, so you go to any one of these, for example. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how. Okay. Look, this is for each of these, you are looking at this, right? So this is this one uh, article. Then you go to subject, depositing. Sorry, it's not mentioned here. So what I want to show actually, I thought it was there, but it's not really there. What I wanted to mention is that when we upload our article here, we are actually given option which kind of licensing regime you want to take. So that licensing regime is based on this Creative Commons, uh, Creative Commons scheme, yeah. So with that, we are to some extent we may allow people to use it, yeah. But you cannot, for example, use it for certain purpose like commercial purpose, or you cannot, you can use, but you cannot uh, uh, split or or edit. It must be exactly in that particular you know form. Uh, there is this kind of option yeah or you can use it you can use it uh, you can distribute it but no commercial meaning still you can distribute but no commercial distribution so this is all under uh, creative commons yeah so share your work you see choose your choose a license uh, so get a license okay if you Register with them, then they will put you in their uh, repository. You see, even all those uh, more and more platform are using this CC, Flickr, yeah, Wikipedia, YouTube, and more and more and more. So you can go next. So what what happen is, if I choose to to uh, attach the CC licensing regime to my work then it will be easier to others to use and to share and to distribute to some extent, maybe not to the extent of benefiting it commercially. Yeah, But under the copyright regime, the copyright rule regime, all of those are strictly prohibited. Even showing it or exhibiting it to others without getting you know, initial uh, approval yeah so strictly speaking strictly speaking they may sue you yeah if you take their their work on from the uh, internet this is if you want to go very strictly yeah because uh, i say no i never waive any right so my copyright according to the law shall apply ah uh, then very difficult huh? because you will end up people you know uh keep on copying and pasting especially if i put my work on my blog i cannot do that because people can easily copy and paste it so how do i do that if i if i want to restrict people from doing that uh, then you need some some technological uh, solution you know there are some websites i don't know if you ever experience there are some websites that you cannot copy you cannot uh, block like this yeah you cannot block and cannot put copy here. Uh, have you ever uh, stumbled on that kind of website? Yes, there are websites like that. You have to pay before you can download. Exactly. You it. can only see on the screen, isn't it? Yes, maybe. Or you, can... or you may want to. What you want to do is just print screen, <laughs> print screen, or you can yeah 
uh, photo, photo uh, take picture by your mobile phone. So you cannot copy and paste. I remember uh, this happened to me when I uh, access some some type of some dictionary online. Uh, so so that is additional thing. If you don't want people to copy and paste, and of course it comes with investment. You need something to do in, uh, to 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 make sure. But even with that kind of technology, people can still you know get rid of those and and perhaps easily and cop copy and paste your work. So so I'm I would say if you put if you uh, post something online, then you must know the consequences. You must know the, all the possibilities, and you must be ready for that. So it is not changing the rule of the copyright, but rather changing your attitude with the copyright. Yeah, changing your attitude. And at the same time, it is not all loss. Don't worry. It is not all loss. You are not going to lose everything. No? You actually get some benefit. And that's why people like this Lawrence Resig come up with this Creative Commons uh, licensing regime, which is more... Uh, uh more uh, uh friendly yeah to internet users okay so you can check this later on uh this kind of initiative this is what i say as an, as an example of how we change our attitude to the copyright law yeah so if you really want to restrict it maybe the cyberspace is not the best place for you yeah uh, except you have you have for example uh, su on subscription basis okay uh, those uh, for example uh, case laws report uh, from Malayan Law Journal you can only get it if you pay the subscription to the Lexis Nexis of course in your A context you are not paying it yourself it is the library who will pay the UIA will pay but remember you also pay for the library isn't it you pay like either yearly or i think one time i forgot so basically <clears throat> that is also a payment and they, they are getting money for that so you don't get it easily or freely on on the on in the cyberspace yeah but many other uh, case report now go online and free uh, because they already changed their business model do you still read any newspapers which are on subscription basis is there any no. in Malaysia? Do you know if there is any online newspaper which is on subscription basis? I think New I Straight know. Time? No? Yes. Which one? New Straight Time. New Straight Time. Yeah. Yeah. New Straight Times. Oh online. yes, New Straight Times. Yeah. Yeah. And Malaysia <laughs> Kini also. Indonesia. <laughs> Where, uh, which one? Indonesia. Which one? Hukum online. Uh, hukum online is quite specific, uh, specified and niche area. Yeah, so I think they are, they still have a reason to do it, because uh, people like you, yeah, trying to get uh, sources from specific areas. So if it is specific providers, because hukum online is like specific for legal researchers for law materials. Uh, they are still on subscription by subscription is it yeah yes. subscription so it is quite understandable because they are aiming for their niche market but for new story I, I think they all go online you know they start to you know make it free okay in, in malaysia there are still few like malaysia kini new straight times and i think star also they have the free area and also the subscribe area so they still try to get some you know luck to get some luck to get people to subscribe but i doubt i doubt they will make it maybe they they will they will have to think of a new business new business model in near future yeah like we have a uh, like the guardian the guardian and then in, in internationally uh, new york times also on subscription basis but who cares if new york times is on subscription basis you can always go to Others like Fox News, <laughs> which is very much uh, Trump centered. It's okay. There are still many other options depending on from which perspective you want. Yeah. So, so I'm not belittling these copyright rules. It is still very, very important 
but when it comes to cyberspace, I think, uh, you know, adjustments will be needed. Yeah. For book industry, you know, like these books, yeah, like all these books, you know, they still maintain the copyright very, very strongly. They don't provide the ebook. The moment you provide ebook, then the next, the following time, your book will no longer be on sale. But some people they don't care. They provide the e-books. They also provide the normal books. They have some business model, so it goes back to their creativity. Yeah. So uh, what from this topic? <clears throat> I I'm not teaching you what is copyright. You know, please go back to those uh, with your own readings. But the rule remains. However, when it uh, interfaces with the cyberspace, you know the uh, something has to be has something has to change yeah or maybe one day the law will have to change because for now the law doesn't really change the law will stay will say the same if it is copyrighted here it is also copyrighted in the internet but in future i think they will have to consider you know and this is also the challenge you as the as the future uh, legal scholars, as the future academia, as the future legislatures, will have to think. Yeah, maybe in twenty years' time, in thirty years' time, this copyright will be, you know, will have to change at all when it comes to the internet. That's why it will make it so dynamic. But as oh, as it is now, the rule of the copyright will still be the same. But I think the attitude must change. We must have some creativity in terms of business model. Because in the past, copyright, patent, trademark, and all those intellectual property law are used or are they are relied on uh, as, as, a, as a tool for commercial benefit, for commercialization, isn't it? They copyright things, they, they patent this and patent that. So they can uh, monopolize yeah, the use of the product or the work and can uh, gain a monetary uh, benefit for anyone who wishes to use it. But now no more. People really don't care about paying royalties to you. Maybe to some extent, yes, they still collect royalties, but it will be increasingly insignificant. Therefore, you have to think of different business models. Many uh, music uh, producers now, they don't rely on concert. Who are making concert now? Just few people. Yeah. They also are not relying on selling CDs or cassettes. Yeah. They know because people now rely on the internet. So they have to think, okay, some people attach their music with iTunes or with Apple. So you can only go to these uh, apps in order to get the, the music. But maybe one month after that, it will be everywhere. So again, it is not sustainable. You may have, you may have some you know, commercial benefit for the first few weeks, but the next moment it is there. Also movies. People don't go to cinema to watch movies now. Yeah, isn't it? Hakim, <laughs> where do you watch movies now? <laughs> I'm not proud to say this, sir, but uh, mostly pirated, lah, sir. <laughs> no budget, sir. Students still. <laughs> okay. This has gone for a long time. I mean, okay, in the past, in the past, people like you, which was like me, <laughs> Go to Loya to Imbis and looking for the pirated CDs or DVDs. But maybe the following week, if you go there, the shop will be closed because, yeah, the enforcement agency will keep on tracing these people. Yeah, so people still go to cinema. But nowadays, it is all different. Yeah, that's why now the movies producers they don't have to rely on 
movies anymore except for some romantic reasons some people still want to go for cinema because it is so different you have to watch in some in different way okay but now people i mean this uh, music and and movie producers they attach their works to uh, the online broadcast such as uh, netflix for example netflix iflix and many other things yeah but again <clears throat> it will not sustain for long because one day it will land on the on the cyberspace and the moment it is on the cyberspace you cannot do anything uh, even though in some countries yeah law enforcement still taking action against the peer peer to peer network you know all this uh, you know there there have been many uh, websites that provide access to all these online movies freely so the enforcement keep on tracing these people from time to time but the moment you shut down one and then arises new places a new uh, uh, new uh, online sites so it is never ending battle but at least okay at least the enforcement got to work got to prove to people to public that we work but that doesn't really end the story especially our youth teenagers millennials today yeah they keep on sharing the latest websites that that provide this kind of movies and they they keep on sharing that some websites are no longer available go to the other website this is the new link <laughs> hakim seems to agree with me very much everywhere is the same malaysia indonesia someone oh, they keep on providing so so we think if we think again how do make how do they make money of their works of course we we recognize that all these works are valuable and it comes with investment and so on and at one side also we need to keep on uh, encouraging this uh, uh, art workers movie workers yeah, songwriters to keep on yeah to keep on creating works because it is for the benefit of society so how do we create that incentive this is a policy call this is not really a legal question the legal question is very very strict still copyright law is there they say this is in order to encourage people they keep on producing but in fact the breach the abuse is still going on and continuing and what about uh what about censoring the the, the websites yeah we have talked about this in the past yes countries keep on censoring websites some websites which are considered uh, copyright infringing uh, providers we censor we we shut down but then you can only wait less than 24 hours to get the replacement websites so this is a policy call for us to make how do we continue to incentivize and encourage the art workers the literary workers the science workers yeah to keep on producing works and uh, without uh, i mean, I mean uh, despite having to change yeah meaning they may have to change in terms of business model in terms of uh, relaxing some uh, restrictions as well as coming up with some uh, creative initiatives like co creative commons yeah so that is uh, i think the gist of the thing i'd like to share with you about copyright in the internet there are more questions than answer to this but i thought it would be good for you to to do the, your research yeah to do your research uh to 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 find out solutions how we can enhance the law and not only enhance the law but we make the law more workable in this uh, internet era yeah uh, certainly the we certainly we need cooperation from all parties including platform providers including internet service providers yeah that is that is still a must uh but uh again the the 
change of attitude is, is very, very important. Professor Lawrence Resig says, if you don't change your attitude, you actually end up in denial. Keeping on arguing that copyright must be there, but at the same time, always, uh, all the time, continuously witnessing that your copyright is being abused in the internet. And at the same time, we are not giving the right message to our children. Meaning there is, uh, you know, ambivalence. Uh, you are, I thought you are saying copyright, but then, so then uh, where is it <laughs> in the in real life? They keep on sharing things without, you know, following the copyright rules. Okay, so so this is really a challenge. But as of now, as I said again, the country, some law enforcement will still try to enforce the law as it is. For example, shutting down the websites which shares the movies, shares the works, or maybe uh, some people still keep on uh, suing others for copyright infringement under the copyright law. Or some countries will have uh, treaties yeah, or multilateral agreement in order to strengthen their copyright law. I mean, these are, these are the efforts which are based on the law as it is now, which is still ongoing. And and as a as a legal compliant people, you and me, we try our best to keep on complying with that. Yeah, we are not saying uh, don't worry about internet, eh, don't worry about copyright. It's no different. Just go ahead, use this, use that. I think we have to have some integrity on that, saying that yes, the law says so, and we try our best to comply. But to some extent, we have to. I, we have to encourage more, you know, um, internet-friendly attitude, you know, because you, you know that one way or another, your work will land on the cyberspace. So what are you going to do with, with it? Yeah, so this is really a challenge for us, okay? So <clears throat> in Malaysia, copyright is regulated under Copyright Act 1987, but it has been amended several times in order to uh, adjust somehow with the internet and cyberspace. One of the most important rule is that about secondary infringement. Secondary infringement means, for example, I have a blog, I have a blog, and then someone posted an article. Someone posted an article, let's say Mr. A posted an article, which belongs to Mr. B. Then I should be alerted about it. I should be alarmed. I should have this question. Mr. A, you are posting Mr. B's work in my blog. Have you got the permission from him? At least I must do my part. And if I don't do my part and I and it can be considered as a as a you know it can be implied as if I'm I'm uh, encouraging as well as uh, allowing the infringement of copyright, then in law, I might be also responsible under, under uh, what we call as a secondary infringement. Well, what if I don't know that it is infringing? Okay, let's say somebody uploaded something on my blog or on my video sharing. Let's say I have a video sharing like YouTube. Uh, imagine that it is mine. Then someone posted a video. I don't know that this video actually doesn't belong to him. Actually, it belongs to others. Or maybe the he posted an article which belongs or written by others, but he didn't mention that, which is clearly an infringement of copyright. I don't know. Then I will allow still. But the moment I have that knowledge, I must do something. For example, there is a complaint then I must consider that complaint and then take action or at least do my investigation. Is this yours? Is this not? Yeah. Then I have, I'm as a provider or as a owner of that platform, I have a, a responsibility, legal duty to, to take some steps. And if it is proven that it is it doesn't belong to this person, then I have to yeah, take it down. Yeah. This is called this, con this is uh, called take down principle. Take down principle. Meaning you have to give notice first. Once the notice already given, then you you can take down. Otherwise, if you don't do this, 
you can be considered as accomplice. Accomplice means partner in crime. Yeah. And remember section 114A. Ah, I mentioned to you last week. Section 114A under Evidence Act says that if any posting, any material is published online which is illegal, which is infringing some law, any law, but published in your platform or under your control, then it can be or it will be presumed as your publication. For example, in my blog, on my blog, on my uh, YouTube channel, on my Instagram, social media, then there was found a posting which is infringing copyright or maybe a posting which is offensive in nature, maybe obscene or maybe seditious, hate speech, defamation, any all those infringing materials they are published on my on my facebook or on my platform then i cannot say oh it was not me or i never know about it i didn't know huh? the moment you are informed i mean uh if you are if you don't know that is different that's why i said take down principle will will apply but that but you will be assumed to know because it is in your blog, in your social media. So what will happen? According to the law, the onus of proving will be shifted to you. You must prove that it was not you. You must prove that it was not published by you. It was not your work. Yeah. Even if you say it was hacked or oh, somebody hijacked my Facebook, I did not control it anymore now. Then you have to prove. Because now the, the, the onus of proving shifted to you. You see how critical this section is. Yeah, we mentioned and, and Mr. Sundar already shared with us that this section was very helpful for the police officer, isn't it, Mr. Sundar? Yeah. Yes, sir. Because yes. It, yeah. Because it will help them. Now you have to answer rather than the police have to have to uh, prove. You have to answer that it was not you. Uh, that is under section 114A. I hope you take note of this. Well, apparently I have been talking more than one hour without slides. Yeah, I, I do have slides uh, I can share with you, but not exactly the same uh, dimension I am talking to you this. But but uh, this is all recorded and can be uh, you can access it again. Yeah. So I want to highlight to you those things when it comes to copyright and intellectual property in the internet. There are a few things. Number one, the rule will still remain the same as it is now. Yeah, what is wrong is still wrong in the internet. You can't simply say, no, this is the internet, it is different. No, the rule is still the same. But of course, you understand that it is very challenging. Yeah, to keep on this uh, copyrighted materials intact online in the cyberspace is very, very challenging due to the nature of the cyberspace itself. It is so easy for people to copy and paste, to upload and download, yeah, and to change, to edit, to remix. That's why Lawrence Fessick said in, the, in his book, to remix. Remix now is the style. Everyone remix, meaning mix, mix. So because of this, Number three, we must be ready to change our our attitude first. Change your attitude. If you're looking for uh, monetary benefit, try to change your business model. Yeah. Or tr uh, try to understand what the internet is, because maybe you you don't you don't get money, but you get readers, you get viewers. Yeah. So. I have for some post I got like uh, 100 viewers a day, yeah, 100 viewers a day, for example. Where else I can get people to read my post 100 times a day? I mean, where get uh, where uh, my my work is being read 100 times a day, if not in uh, face in in, in uh, my blog, yeah. So you must see the the nature of the internet with that kind of. We, with appreciating uh, the value of the internet. It is so wide, you know, uh, audience. It is uh, 24 hours. You know, it goes beyond your uh, country, beyond your race. 
and sometimes beyond your language as well because now now the browsers can translate isn't it now the browsers internet browser like google chrome is so smart the moment you open uh, a website suddenly you are so frustrated it is in french wow french never know french then suddenly you realize translate to english then it's just one click everything becomes english that's the beautiful of the beauty of the internet isn't it i'm as a work i'm as a owner i don't have to hire someone to translate my work in order to be read by people yeah so so you change your your attitude number four <laughs> did we count number one the law will still remain the same number two however the internet gives so much challenges challenges yeah as well as threats lah. number three we must be ready to accept those challenges and change our attitude whether you are a single author whether you are an institution whether you are a business owner whether you are a musician whether you are a politician change the attitude number four look for alternatives yeah look for alternatives such as business model such as creative commons such as a certain you know licensing agreements and maybe number five yeah think to reshape the law in future how the law should be reshaped how the law should be reset in order to be more you know uh uh more uh equally dynamic with the with the cyberspace uh, that will be the the keynotes key points okay uh as of the law now as i said uh, they have some there is some 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 development relating to the secondary infringement maybe it was not you but you have some responsibility yeah if you are the platform owner or the page owner and next also it will be presumed to be your publication until and unless you rebut it uh, there is a presumption of publication under section 114a of evidence act any question out of that okay if you then if you don't have question i will not wait uh you can come back to me later on this uh so that is basically the last point i want to share about uh, copyright law in the internet please you do your own yeah exp you explore your on your own uh, on uh, many issues based on the writings and journal articles and so on um 